Welcome back, everyone, to another Leal Legacy Classic Cartoon Commentary. Today, we're hanging out with Bimbo and something a little different. It's I'm Afraid to Go Home in the Dark from 1930, an animated short which was presented by Max Fleischer and directed by Dave Fleischer. This film was originally released by Paramount and features a sing-along version of the song I'm Afraid to Go Home in the Dark, written by Egbert Van Alstein and Henry Williams. The song was originally published in 1907. So this is the first sing-along cartoon that I, I've ever been aware of. And look at that version of Bimbo. Super old school Bimbo, right? <sighs> so is he going home? Because it looked like he was leaving his house. And he's afraid s- specifically of th- these two owls? <laughs> Okay. Oh, he's afraid of his own shadow. Look at that. We're gonna have to. He turned into a knight's helmet in <laughs> a fire. Okay. This. <laughs> what is this. What's happening? Are we gonna have to play some Peter Pan rules and sew his shadow back to the heels of his feet? Is that where Peter Pan's shadow was connected? The heel? Or is it the sole of the foot? Either way, this is bizarre. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see? Connected at the feet. That's how shadows work. Don't cut your shadow off. You just you had it right where you wanted it. Wow. So, ah, stuck again. <laughs> it's like tar. Hey, remember when he turned into a knight's helmet and then a fireman's hat and then there was a bunch of... His nose just... <laughs> I'm having... This... Oh, here we go. Here's the song. so much. He told his wife he never drank a stronger thing than tea. But after all honeymooning at night he stayed away. And oh, oh I lost it, I'm sorry. Is he drunk? Oh, that's what this whole thing is. So what seemed spooky, oh, here we go, <laughs> just turned into him being drunk and making up excuses to his wife. What a twist. <laughs> are these are these the miniature versions of Bimbo that escaped from his hat earlier? <laughs> what is it? Why <laughs> did they eat the xylophone hammers? 
the man that brought the mare. Wow. His wife was making <laughs> Are they going to go back into the big bimbo? Oh, it's his wife. Oh, no. <laughs> he just left his skin. But the guy with the fling is the guy who can sing, although he's losing his shirt. So come on, everybody, now. All right, let's do this. Baby dear, listen here. I'm afraid to come home in the dark. I like that little phantom guy. That was Bimbo. Every day the papers say. This is really cool. <laughs> Re in the park. So I sat alone in the YMCA. <laughs> Just singing just like a lark. Bimbo turned into a devil? What happened here? There's no place like home. <laughs> but I couldn't come home in the dark. <laughs> Not because spooky things, but because robberies take place in the park. I couldn't be more lost. Well, I don't know. I kind of understand it, I guess. But then she turned into a hot dog. <laughs> what? <laughs> he found his way in the house, and it turned into a hot dog. This may very well be the greatest classic cartoon ever. <laughs> it was a sing-along it didn't make a lot of sense. It had skeletons. You know I love skeletons. Um, wow. Wow. I uh, I don't know what else to say, honestly. Like, you experienced it. You were there with me. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not even going to plug anything on this one. This was fascinating. So fascinating. They're classic cartoon commentaries, you know, that, that I do here. But this, this in a, a twist of fate was a classic cartoon sing-along. I used to love the old like VHS Disney sing-along tapes with the follow the bouncing ball. That was this, this from 1930. They were doing that. Fascinating with a song originally published in 1907. What in the world? And then, and then the house turned into a hot dog. What in, what had happened? I don't know. Hey, thanks for being a friend and telling a friend. <laughs> See ya.